This is uh, the first edition of Eurocentrism, written around 1988. And this edition in its preface contains his definition of Eurocentrism. Eurocentrism is this notion that there is only one universal culture, and that's very, very powerful and um, oppressive. But Amin was equally an opponent of all forms of non-Eurocentric culturalism and cultural nationalism. This larger edition, written 20 years later of Eurocentrism, does not have the definition of Eurocentrism in it, that preface was removed and a new preface put in, which starts with the critique of culturalism. He says, I define culturalism as an apparently coherent and holistic theory based on the hypothesis that there are cultural invariants able to persist through and beyond possible transformations in economic, social, and political systems. Cultural specificity then becomes the main driving force of inevitably quite different historical trajectories. Now, he argues that Eurocentrism is, of course, the the primary form in which culturalism is presented to us. The other culturalisms that are resistant to Eurocentrism, they basically succumb to the same ideology as Eurocentrism, they end up being inverted Eurocentrisms in his terminology. They complement Eurocentrism rather than really opposing it and complement imperialism to a large extent. And he says, we can't just reject Eurocentrism going back to earlier cultures of, of a previous mode of production is the answer. This is the primary bourgeois ideology. It's the ideology of capitalism or the ideology of imperialism, really. Amin advocated that countries in the global South de-link from capitalism and the imperialist world system. He advocated polycentrism and was an opponent of Eurocentrism and its capitalist universalism. One of the key axioms of Eurocentrism is the notion that Europe is descended from ancient Greece, that all of the thought developed in Greece, philosophy of nature, materialism, rationalism, was a product of a purely European Greece, and the Asian links were denied. The Greeks themselves didn't see it that way. They saw themselves as part of the larger Asian and Semitic cultures, Egyptian culture. They were very, very much integrated and saw themselves as derivative. Modernity means a lot to a lot of different thinkers, but um, Amin basically defines modernity as as, um, the discovery that human beings are the self-mediating beings of nature. That is a view that was most explicitly articulated by Marx. Now, this view came out of the Enlightenment itself. He doesn't simply reject the Enlightenment fully. It's a dialectical negation, right? There is a tradition 
that Marxism represents coming out of the Enlightenment, which is not Eurocentric. Marxism focused on the revolutionary aspect of modernity, which is an inheritance of all peoples everywhere that does point towards a truly universal culture. Amin said, the choice remains true universalism that is necessarily socialist or Eurocentric capitalist barbarism. Amin is very clear that we want to create a new universalism that brings all peoples together and emphasizing differences, maybe one stage in, in doing that, but then, then we have to find a way to come together on a different basis. <laughs> <laughs>